All right. Hey, everybody, and good afternoon. Welcome to some Disney cartoons. Robert French here. Gosh, I hope that's not as loud on your end as it is on mine. i got to turn my headphones down. Uh, Robert French here, also known as Red 5 French in the PlayStation gaming universe. Coming back at you guys with some uh, classic Disney Nintendo titles here. Basically just for the sole reason that uh, I need some practice playing video games and talking at the same time. I know that sounds kind of ridiculous, but I came from a decade, or I come from a decade where um, the talking during playing video games is just not what you did, so this is all kind of new to me. So I need to get some practice in. And real quick, I want to give a shout out to the PlayStation Plus uh, app or network service, whatever it is. Uh, kudos to these guys. When I initially downloaded this uh, game here, it was just DuckTales, Chippendale Rescue Rangers, Tailspin, Darkwing Duck. Those are the four games. It was like $5 for this thing. It was awesome. Great deal. I loved it. And then one day I turned it on, and we had DuckTales 2, and we had Chippendale on here as well. So, awesome service. want to give us big shout out to those guys Matt props. I'm going to skip over DuckTales right now. I think I'm going to go right into some Chip and Dale uh, Rescue Rangers here. Um, like I said, I guess I'm doing this this here now. It's just something I'm doing. I just need practice. Uh, like I said, talking during um, playing video games. Like I said, I, I come from a time when these games came out and you just didn't talk when playing video games. In fact, you could get punched in the arm for talking while somebody was trying to like beat a main boss or get a part or get across a part in the game that was like really hard, you know. Um, I, and I know I like I punched my sister in the arm and shoved her many times for talking while playing video games. Sometimes just for no reason at all, just because. But I know I I would shove her and uh, stuff her talking while playing video games. And now it's very common. You put your headset on, you're yelling, you're talking. Uh, I, I'm often asked, um, Robert, are you still there when playing Fortnite? Because I'm just concentrating, man. I'm trying to, I'm trying to stay alive. You know? Shut up. Stop talking to me. So, um, I figured I'd play some games. Um, not only uh, that I have in my in my collection, but that also that I I have a history with and that I'm familiar with, and definitely the Disney afternoon lineup. Is one of the things that I grew up with, as well as playing these games. Um, you know, I started playing video games when I was like uh, seven, eight years old, um, and started watching this stuff when it was first coming out. I was like, you know, eight, nine, ten years old when these when these shows were coming out. So this is very much a part of my history. So I figured I would play these games and kind of talk with you guys for a little bit, and um, like I said, just get some practice in talking while playing. up here, Apple. Um, so yeah, I'm going to uh, just kind of jump in, I guess, to talk about the actual uh, afternoon lineup with uh, the Disney shows. I remember when um, it was actually just the Gummy Bears and DuckTales. What the? There was no, um, you know, Chippendale Rescue Rangers, no Tailspin, stuff like that. Um, and then, you know, as time went on, these other shows came out, and it was just amazing. I, I love them all uh, so much, and I didn't think there was, like, you know, I, I knew, I was like, remember seeing you know, Chippendale Rescue Rangers was coming out and being excited for it, but not thinking... See, I, I can't talk and play video games at the same time. Um, but not thinking, like, oh, I'm going to love this as much or more than this DuckTales. And it wound up being one of my favorite shows. And then the same thing with uh, Tailspin, you know. I, it's like, oh, there's no way um, anything's going to top Chippendale and... DuckTales, and then they announced Tailspin's coming out, and I'm like, oh man, I love Jungle Book and Aviation, and it was like, it just, 
It's like, it couldn't get any better to be a fan of uh, Disney's after-school programming. And then, you know, once again, Darkwing Duck comes out, and it's like, oh man, I was into superheroes and Batman, and now I have my own Disney Batman, and it was just like, oh man. I couldn't wait to get home after school to catch up on my Disney after school shows. Um, you know, DuckTales, I think, was amazing because you had Huey, Dewey, and Louie, and, you know, the kids would go on these amazing adventures. Um, I remember loving Chip and Dale because these guys would, like, use household items to make, like, their gadgets and their, their, their vehicles were you know, made out of, like, cleaning bottles and two liters and stuff like that. So it was always just a lot of fun. And then, you know, to try to go around the house and make your own little, uh, your own, shoot, your own little gadgets and toys and stuff out of what you could find around the house. And so it was great. It was a great show for the imagination. I remember watching, uh, Chippendale and wanting to go out and <clears throat> kind of create my own, uh, my own little devices and gadgets and stuff. And like I said, then uh, Tailspin came out, and at that point there wasn't really any uh, male Disney movies. Uh, like Aladdin, I think, was still a couple of years off. And not to say that you can't be a boy and like, you know, like I was, you know, I can't count how many times we probably watched Little Mermaid or Cinderella, Snow White. And not to say, you know, you, you, you can't watch those and like those as a boy because, you know, Cinderella, Little Mermaid, those were some of my favorites growing up. Um, you know, you had Peter Pan, that was a favorite. But I, I remember Jungle Book just really being a favorite of mine growing up. Um, and when that series came out with all those characters in the blue... And uh, King Louie and stuff, that was a lot of fun. Seeing those characters and, like, shoot. I can't talk and play video games, guys. I'm telling you, I need to practice. Uh, but it was a lot of fun seeing those guys in new adventures and stuff, so. Um, Shere Khan. And just a, a really smart twist, too. Like, you know, how, how do we make these characters. Um, Bandale, you suck, Robert. How do we make these characters uh, fun? And you know, they placed it. I feel like in a great time, uh, at a great time period. You know, uh, and uh, a genius twist with some of these characters uh, that were created. In the original story of uh, their, their Disney's Jungle Book. Because I don't think, like, up until, like, a DuckTales, I don't think it was really based off of, like, a movie, per se. You know, you have, like, the Duck universe that, you know, Donald... Oh, shoot. That Donald is a part of. But there's no, like, real movie, I don't think, that DuckTales... I remember seeing the DuckTales movie as a kid, but I don't think there's, like, an actual, like, DuckTales movie that any of this is based off of. Um, and the same with Chippendale. Like, you have the Chippendale from the, the, the Walt Disney shorts and the cartoons. But there was never, like, I don't think a movie with them in it. Or any kind of property. Tailspin was, like, I think the first probably the only, it really, when I think about it. Um, years later, you had the Goof Troop, and they had their own movie, but again, that's just based off of Goofy and, I guess, like, his whole universe and, and that whole thing. It's not really based off of one actual movie. So that was really genius on how they took those characters and really created something new. And that game on here is really... This one is too, but 
Tailspin is almost like impossible. I probably had like a crush on Gadget if I'm not mistaken. The mouse. Man. The mouse from this series. I thought she was cute if I'm not mistaken. Uh, and then, uh, you know, gosh, I, I love hitting a cactus. Um, Then you had Darkwing Duck pop in, and I said, like, that that popped in at a period that was just perfect. I was just getting into uh, Batman at that, that point. The Batman movies had come out. Batman had his animated series out, and um, I was just getting into superhero comics, and I'd been into, like, Disney comics growing up. I was really big into horror comics. I mentioned that in another video of mine. Um, but I also have like a lot of the Disney Adventure Digest, and they had like a lot of little comic strips and stories in there um, with a lot of these characters. And um, I remember it was just like Darkwing Duck came at just like the right time period, and it was really cool because like I was into Batman, and then it was also like oh cool I've also got. Um, Stop that. I've also got this really cool, like, duck Batman as, as well. But, uh, it also, like, really connected the whole, um, duck universe when Darkwing Duck came out, too, because you realize that... DuckTales was a bigger universe than just that show. Um, you know, when Launchpad McQuack would appear um, in the series as well as on DuckTales, um, it kind of also made it like a comic book universe where, you know, you know, like the characters in the DC universe are connected, you know, the characters in the uh, Marvel universe are connected. Well, the characters in the DuckTales and the Duckwing universe, or Darkwing Duck universe, are um, connected as well. So that was really cool. I remember liking that a lot as a kid. And Launchpad McQuack was one of my favorite characters, just in general. Um, he was one of the reasons I would tune into DuckTales every day. And it was actually really exciting. I got to meet him uh, last year. My wife and I are huge Disney fans. Actually, that was one of the things that um, my wife and I connected with when we first started talking with her love for Disney. We would stay up all night talking about Disney, Disney music, Disney shows, Disney movies, just all kinds of stuff. Um, and horror movies. Oddly enough, both of us really into horror movies and really into Disney. I know, very strange. But anyway, um, I got to meet uh, Launchpad McQuack. My wife has planned some amazing trips that we've taken to Disneyland. I've never been, or excuse me, to Disney World. I've never been up until like three years ago, but I've now been to Disney World like three times in the last three years, and it's just been absolutely amazing. But yeah, I got to meet a Darkwing Duck and, Sc and a Scrooge and a lot of the characters from... Um, and a lot of characters from this this whole duck universe. I never met Darkwing Duck. I don't know if they've done Darkwing Duck at any of the Disney parks. They should. My wife would know. I should ask her when she gets home. Yeah, my wife and I, uh... Like I said, we... Both are huge, huge Disney fans, um, and actually this year we went to Disney for her birthday in September, and they, you know, they start doing their Mickey not so scary Halloween parties pretty early. So we actually went as Daisy and Donald Duck uh, for Halloween. Um, so like we're just we're just huge fans of the whole the whole Duck first.
This would be this would be one of the parts of the game where I would be telling everybody to shut up and stop talking because I need my concentration to try to do all this. Uh, as I mentioned before, like um, you know, there were certain. Oh, this be, tough here. be careful! Hold on, wait! No talking! Shut up, you guys! I can't talk either. Oh, you've got to be kidding me! That was scary. Do not put that in a not so scary Halloween party because that was actually scary. Uh, but like I was talking about earlier, like the, the different, you know, Disney lineup uh, shows. So, like, you had the gummy bears. I remember when that came out, my sister and I we would mix. Uh, different flavors of Kool-Aid and juice and stuff and make gummy juice and pretend that we were gummy bears and once the DuckTales came out we would pretend that we were um, Junior Woodchucks and we would go on little adventures. I had a Boy Scout guide and I didn't call it my Boy Scout guide, it was my Junior Woodchuck manual. Um, like I said when Chippendale Rescue Rangers came out, I would go around the house and try to invent different... Oh, you gotta be kidding me, I got tag team. Uh, I would go around the house and try to, like, invent little things out of household items and, you know, make little little things like they would do on the, um... on the, on the Chippendale Rescue Rangers show. And then once this came out, I was running around trying to be Darkwing Duck, man. I had the hat, I had the, the cape the jacket thing going on. You know, I painted, I had a Nerf gun that I painted like his gun. You know, I wanted to be Darkwing Duck, man. Um, I think Disney knew what they were doing when they were setting this lineup. They were like, we're not just putting together programming, man. We are, we are changing kids' lives with these shows here. Robert, stop talking. This guy is going to kill you. Alright. I'm just going to mess with you. Get the heck out of here. Oh, no! Cousin just texted me. I think he probably wants to play some Fortnite on his... <clears throat> it's been interesting uh, watching kind of like the evolution of video games. It's like so coming from a time when, when really if you wanted to play multiplayer, you had to be in the same room. Now my cousin and I can play like he's at work on his phone in the parking lot or whatever. Uh, but seeing the evolution of gaming is just really, really bizarre. I just got a PlayStation 4 a couple of years ago. I've been loving every minute of it. Uh, it just more recently set up my social media to this as well, and it's just been, man, a lot of fun. Um, you know, taking gaming to just limits and, and levels that I just didn't think would ever exist when I was playing these games right now, or these games I'm playing right now, you know, when they were when they were out. Um, so, it has been fun watching the whole evolution of, like, how this is all just, uh, how this, this evolution of gaming has just kind of manifested over the years. A lot of times, I uh, I play these games that come out today, going, "Gosh, you know, I wish games were so much. You know, they're so more they're so complex. You know, I'm using basically like two buttons on this game here. And playing games like, you know, The Last of Us. I'm like, gosh, there's just so much to try to keep up with. 
and uh, I was like, man, I wish I could go back to simpler games. But playing this, I'm like, gosh, this game is so tough. How did I play this game as a kid? This is so impossible. You've only got two buttons. Why isn't there a button to allow me to, like, do this or do that or... <laughs> the grass is not greener on the other side, you guys. I still have a Sega Genesis and a Super Nintendo, um, my GameCube, a lot of things that I've, uh, I've grown up with over the years. I still hold on to and play to this day. I mean, it's titles like Sonic the Hedgehog, various Mario titles, Zeldas and stuff, they just never... Is that a block? Are you kidding me? Hold on now. This changes everything, guys. Guys, this changes everything. I was wondering, I was like, there's got to be something... Just stay with these guys. Oh, so how do I do that? Okay, this... Game changer. So he can do it too, okay. It is how to use it. Apparently, the stupid CPU uh, villain knew how to use his cape long before Red French 5 did. Alright, awesome. Boom. Alright, got one life left. Looks like this is the main boss here. I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing. I'm supposed to be like trying to trip the bad guy, maybe? I really don't know what I'm... guys well uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and wrap it up there uh, just trying to keep these videos pretty short but I'm gonna be back um, with more of these next time who knows maybe I'll beat the main boss on this I don't know but I'll be back to talk more about some of these like these shows uh, that I used to watch growing up uh, run through some ducktails perhaps next time um, but thanks for just kind of tuning in and listening to me talk and get some practice in talking while I play some video games. Every little bit helps you guys. Um, I've had a lot of fun and uh, like I said, thanks for tuning in or tubing in. And until next time, don't forget to press continue. Also, oh, please follow me on Twitter. RFA the third. That's RFA the third. Three RD at Twitter. Uh, for more little clips and pics and snippets of video game action and just other fun stuff. Uh, thanks again, guys, and I will catch you next time. Later.